Hey, this video is the second half of the 1.2.7 open and closed system activity. Uh, so for this one, what I've done is um, I've changed, I made the change for the gear. This was supposed to be done uh, uh, before this video. Uh, this was actually done um, for the open loop system So the, on the first video. So I've made the changes. Now the change that you have to make for this one, which was a step seven in your paper, there's no submission for this. Just make sure check, double check with me. Uh, make sure you did this correctly. So what I've done is uh, I've, I took the limit switch that's on the test bed. So I didn't disconnect it. What I did was unscrewed it and I put it on this, uh, on this bar so that the limit switch is facing this way. So this is the, the trigger right here. So when the, the gear and the, the standoff hits it, it sends a signal. So it's supposed to hit it like that and it sends a signal um, and to follow the code. Well, anyway, uh, it, kinda, it kinda depends on how you're set up. Um, so you might have to put this on a certain angle. So that's why you need to double check with me um, regarding this. Sorry, my lights turn off. And then I found it that I found that putting the nut on this side is easier than trying to put it on this side. So I put the screw through here, the one of the holes here, and then I put the nut here. And so that should work out fine. And now all you have to do now is just do the coding. Okay. So once you set this up, double check with me, and then do the coding. Uh, just make sure that you know we don't destroy the the limit switch. Um, all right, so for this one, um, on step seven, yeah, you don't have to, you don't have to uh, just double check with me that you did it right. There's nothing to check there. And then step nine on your paper, uh, we're going to uh, do the coding, okay? So let's go ahead to robot C. So this is the open loop system. This was on the first video. We're gonna click on file. Save as, and then we're going to um, change the file name to a closed loop. Click save. On the title, I can close and task description. Uh, program a motor with a, with a closed loop system, okay? Uh, the pseudocode, the right motor uh, forward uh, for 0.5 seconds. At, we're gonna slow it down because we have a switch. I don't wanna jam the switch. So we're gonna slow down the motor to 15. Uh, 15. Uh, stop the right motor and then the right motor reverse for, um, oh, well, it will reverse, but it's not going to be 0.5 seconds. Um, so we're going to delete that 0.5 seconds and then, um, again, change the speed to 15. Okay. And when it, it reverses, um, it's going to, uh, take the limit sw switch. And it's going to stop the motor and then it's going to uh, repeat this, this 20 times. Okay. So when it's a limit switch, basically it stops the motor and then goes back to the beginning. Okay. Um, all right. So let's see. So the code is the same. The only thing that we're changing is this, uh, is, is putting a limit switch on this code. Um, before we continue, we want to change the speeds, okay? Um, this is going to be, uh, well, we'll keep it at 35, uh, actually 15, sorry. And then um, this one is negative 15. Actually, 
there's one thing we need to change here. This is negative. We have to change the signal here because uh, we want the gear to turn the other way um, for it to actually work. So we'll, we'll call this negative R forward and then this one R positive. This should be positive. So remember, this is negative. This is positive. Okay. So let's go ahead and change the pseudocode here to make sure that they match. So this is reverse. And then this is forward. Okay. Um, all right. So the motor is going to start at negative 15 for 0.5 seconds. It's going to stop and then it's going to... Uh, uh, it's going to start the motor again, but in opposite direction. And then when it hits the, uh, uh, the limit switch, it will stop the motor. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to delete this, uh, on wait code. And we're going to put, uh, until touch. Double click on sensor port. We're gonna put limit switch. Okay, remove the gap. Space. Compile it. Save it. And then we're gonna download to robot. Okay, so again, it's very important that you change that negative uh, 15. Because earlier was positive, make sure you change it to negative and then change the negative to a positive. Okay? It's very important. Um, so we're going to click on start. And so you notice every time it hits the limit switch, it goes the opposite direction. If the limit switch sends a signal to the uh, the gear or to the motor uh, uh, to go back the original direction. Okay. Um, all right. So you'll notice it's going to run for twenty times, and um, um, there's going to be a big difference in accuracy. Now, what you can do now is put it back the way it was. Now that you see, now it's working. What you want to do is change that to 35, make it low, go faster. Uh, so you, you can see a bigger change. Okay? It's the, the difference between an open loop and a closed loop will be more significant. So change that to 35 uh, and then press start. I adjusted this so um, it's not too close to the limit switch when it starts off. So I put it here. Um, let me see. I might have to put it here, actually. All right. So let's let's uh, try this out. So you notice that the 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 standoff is always ending up on the same spot over twenty times. Uh, let's repeat it. Okay. So that's it. Uh, make sure you do this for step nine. Um, step 10, just answer that. Um, and then step 11, uh, answer that also. We can have a discussion in your, at your table, at your station, and then I can just give you credit. Okay. All right. So that's it. Good luck. Thank you.